Interestingly, there are many advantages and disadvantages of living in the Philippines today. Now, you know how much I love the Philippines, but this week I've spent my time investigating across the internet and looking at reasons not to live in the Philippines as a foreigner. So I will share with you the negative side of what expats are saying and even what local Filipinos are saying about life in the Philippines. Scams are everywhere in the Philippines and scammers do not discriminate. Scammers have been known to target local Filipinos as well as foreign visitors. One comment I came across was that you can even find certain scamming schools that would teach you how to scam if you know the right people. Of course, this is the internet, so there's no way to verify if this information is correct or not, but what is true is that scams are incredibly common in the Philippines. So it is always recommended to keep your guard up. During the early stages of setting up a business, I spoke to many Filipinos about the culture of the Philippines to learn about issues concerning my customers that I wouldn't necessarily read about online. The conversation took many turns along the way, but one local informed me of the crab mentality across the country, and this is one of the reasons why she hated living in the Philippines. She mentioned that many people's attitude works like crab pincers. In other words, people are trying to bring others down. Since then, many have confirmed this over the years and is something to consider when you look to go to the Philippines to get involved in the community and also start a new life. One commenter, a local citizen, spoke about the unfairness of having wealth in the Philippines. The concept is that if you have money, you can get away with a lot, and you will lose if you're going against somebody with money. However, I believe this is a much larger problem across many countries, not only in the Philippines. This also has its links to corruption, which we will be speaking about very shortly. Research confirms that MSG and other products are commonly added to Filipino cuisine. In addition, high processed sugary foods and fried foods are very common in restaurants and street food venues across the country. A disadvantage of living in the Philippines as an expat is that unhealthy food is extremely common but attractive as it is very cheap. Over the years, the Philippines has been known to suffer some devastating disasters. Due to the geographical location of the Philippines, certain areas and islands are more prone than others. Natural disasters are a safety concern for many expats living in the Philippines and are a disadvantage when living in the Philippines long term. And it's very common to experience flooding and earthquakes while living in the Philippines. For some, one disadvantage of living in the Philippines is the feeling of being different. This is a common experience living in Asia as an expat. Still, some travelers who visit the Philippines report being stared at is more common in the Philippines than it is in other countries. Interestingly, this tends to be in the more remote areas such as Davao province and not in the larger cities. I think I spoke about this in another video and in all fairness, I don't believe this is a big reason reason not to go to the Philippines, but it is something to keep at the back of your mind if you are going off-road. There have been improvements in the internet infrastructure over the years in the Philippines. However, many areas are still known to have slow internet. This is certainly a disadvantage of living in the Philippines as a foreigner if you rely on internet for work. But the internet in the Philippines is no longer the worst in the world and you should be okay in most areas. I found using a direct ethernet cable from my laptop to my internet router nearly doubled the internet speed. 
Manila is not the only area in the Philippines suffering from serious traffic problems. For example, Cebu City is very popular with expats and has similar traffic congestion problems. One local who was living in Manila mentioned that his work is on the other side of the city and it's very common for him to spend up to two to three hours of his day traveling from work to his apartment. So when you're trying to find your new home in the Philippines, it is recommended to choose a place near the most visited establishments that you go to, especially when moving to a busy city. Air pollution is a noticeable problem in the Philippines for expats, but one Filipino written article states that many Filipinos tend to dismiss the problem with air pollution in the Philippines. There are many long-term health implications for breathing in bad air quality, so purchasing an air purifier in the Philippines is highly recommended. You will be able to find a good quality unit for around 800 pesos, which is approximately 15 US dollars, on the Lazada platform. Some areas are lacking appropriate waste management services. One of the first disadvantages of living in the Philippines for first timers is the uncleanliness of certain areas. This causes many problems for locals living in the area. Additionally, certain homeless communities are known to be situated in particular areas and unfortunately, some do not have access to appropriate waste management services, so there are areas that tend to get very dirty over a short period. The reality of poverty and low level incomes in the Philippines is very sad. The inflation rate has increased over the years and some families find it very difficult to pay for the most basic expenses. Statistically, crime and other negative outcomes are commonly associated with poverty and this is one disadvantage of living in the Philippines for some. Unfortunately, Manila is an example of mass poverty in the Philippines and it's not uncommon to see homeless families and children on the streets, which is very heartbreaking. Over the years, the Philippines government has been criticized for its high tax rates. These include corporate, personal, and capital gains tax. Comparing the different tax rates across Southeast Asia, the Philippines is far from the cheapest tax rate for foreigners, which can be a gigantic disadvantage for moving to the Philippines if you are an expat investor or business owner. On a similar topic to tax comes the general administration of the government. During the research, we found several posts and comments about the management of government. One of the biggest concerns was on the subject of corruption. Corruption has been a common talking topic in the Philippines with locals and foreigners alike. Although to mention, several of these comments were posted some time ago and now there's a new administration in charge. So whether you are a foreigner or you are a local, what do you think about life in the Philippines? Do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages? Is it a good time to go? Is the Philippines a good place to live? And can you actually build a full-time life in the Philippines as a foreigner?